Boy, do I got a story for you guys. Uh, what pneumonia does is it uh, can kill you, actually, if you're exposed to it enough. And I was really exposed to it, guys. I thought I was going to pass out. And I was freaking out. Um, I had this thing called a sniffer that's clipped onto me right here. And uh, the sniffer basically t uh, detects toxic chemicals and then sets off an alarm if there is any. And so it's going off. It's going beep, 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 beep. shitty day literally <laughs> boy do I got a story for you guys alright so check it uh, last Friday I was cleaning out these poop tanks it's one poop tank basically it's a 200,000 gallon tank full of poop that's what it is anyway so we got pump truck guys pumping and I'm running hoses and manning hoses and pressure washing basically hitting the solid shit making it into liquid shit to make it go into the hoses and get pumped into the trucks basically that's what I did all day Friday and I had to I, you know just keep spraying all day and yeah it was sucky you get shit fling back into your face Anyway, today, Tuesday, I had to go in, actually in the tank, uh, I got like these farmer boots to come up to my knees and um, put on some uh, like coveralls, basically, and yeah, I was inside the tank and then pressure washing it and it would come into my face and my boss was kind of like a slave driver <laughs> and he kept fucking yelling at me saying get closer get closer don't be afraid of it and I you know every time as I got closer like more shit would fly in my face and I'd be like there's shit flying in my face you know and he'd be like get closer I'm like fuck I'm <laughs> so mad so I was already having a bad day we're doing this all day long uh, he was in the tank with me he was he took over the pressure washer and he was pressure washing um, further down the tank and I was running um, like a fire hose basically and um, he was like at the end of the tank and I was at the where the hatch is basically it's like basically I don't know like about three, four feet up, and then there's a hatch kind of in the center of the tank. And then on the outside, it's basically like a five, five foot drop on the outside. <sighs> so anyway, I'm in there spraying away, he's spraying away, uh, and out of nowhere, shit just starts raining from the, the top of the tank, guys. Like, like, nobody's business, guys. Like, it was just dumping on us. Uh, you know, where he was at the end of the tank, there was one spot where it was dumping there. And then uh, where, where I was, you know, just before the hatch, basically, blocking the hatch, it was dumping there. Uh, like, I couldn't, I can't even explain, like, how much was dumping. Uh, it was nuts. Anyway, um basically and shit a lot of times especially like I guess fresh shit freshly pumped shit or maybe like the first part of the stuff that gets pumped out is all gassy right it's got uh, uh, no pneumonia however the hell you say that word and no 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 I can't say it guys no no pneumonia fuck whatever Anyway, uh, what pneumonia does is it uh, can kill you, actually, if you're exposed to it enough. And I was really exposed to it, guys. 
Um, I was in there for about fucking 45 seconds to a minute while this was going on. Well, shit was raining on us. Uh, I felt like passing out, literally. Like, I thought I was going to pass out. And I was freaking out. Um, I had this thing called a sniffer that's clipped onto me right here. And uh, the sniffer basically t uh, detects toxic chemicals and then sets off an alarm if there is any. And so it's going off. It's going beep, 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 beep. And, you know, shit's dumping like crazy, blocking the hatch. I can't get to the hatch and escape because there's shit dumping so hard where you know, the exit is. And I'm about to pass out, guys. I'm literally about to pass out. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I can't breathe. I'm about to pass out. And I just freaked out, yo. And I just said, fuck it. And I dived through the shit that's dumping down. I literally dived through it, guys. And I dived out the hatch head first. And outside there was like a chain link fence. And I grabbed onto the fence and I pulled my ass out. And then I fell down the five feet. Like I literally fell down. There was a ladder and everything. I said, fuck all that. <laughs> I grabbed the chain link and I pulled my ass out, fell down, and yeah, I cut myself up. I got some, some band-aids on. And uh Yeah. Fuck. When I got out, I was I was covered in shit all over my face, all over my head, all over just everywhere, man. I was just covered in liquid shit. And I was like practically like almost throwing up I couldn't breathe so I went to the bathroom right and I like just freaking splash water like crazy all over my face and, and in my hair and I'm just like trying to get all the shit off and yeah I washed my hands like a bunch of times with like the real like sanitized soap or whatever and just yeah I even tried to like get some on my face to sanitize my face it was freaking ugly, man. I blew my nose a bunch of times and I went outside. I just, I still feel like throwing up. I, I was holding it so much. Like, it was so hard to like not throw up. <sighs> and, um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm still out of breath. <sighs> it's hard to breathe. My, my lungs, I don't know. They just need time to heal or what. But, yeah, this shit can kill you. Like, it can fuck up your lungs. It can it put you in a coma, I guess. It's <sighs> some crazy ass shit. <sighs> anyway. So that was my day today, guys. <laughs> fuck me. <sighs> I know I'll sleep good tonight. I'm tired as hell. That's another symptom, too, which is weird. I'm so tired. <sighs> Trying to breathe as much oxygen as I can right now, you know. My eyes are burning. That's another symptom. Like, I was heavily exposed to the uh, uh, no, uh, no, pneumonia. Why is it spelled? It starts with an A, but you say na, na pneumonia. You say uh, ammonia? I, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I can't fucking say it right. That's funny. Uh, God damn. I'm driving home. I'm about halfway home. Ugh. Anyway, I didn't mention my boss. No one was cracking the whip on me. <laughs> Uh, he stayed in there, like, uh, the whole time while the shit dumped off. Uh, we were yelling and screaming, and I was shooting the fire hose out the hatch to get someone's attention. Um, uh, and I guess we got the guy's attention, and he ran around and got the guy that was the pump truck driver was pumping poop into the tank to go shut it off. Um, uh, so I'm glad he did that. I was kind of like already out by the time everything got shut off. My boss, he literally just stood there and he like hopped on his phone to get someone to shut it off. And he was 
is not willing to jump out like how I did. <laughs> it's what he said. He said, if I would have done what you did, dive head first out, I probably would have died. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. I'm like, fuck, what are you doing, man? I ain't gonna stay in there and fucking die. Fuck. I'm pretty sure my scrapes and bruises or whatever the fuck's gonna happen is not going to be near as worse as dying and just passing out in a pool of shit. <laughs> Fuck that. I am not going out that way, guys. God damn. So anyway, I'm going to go home. I'm going to shower like hardcore and sanitize myself. <sighs> Last night we did a live stream um, and like freaking kind of kind of sucked a little bit because there was like nobody in the stream for some reason I don't know if it was just a bad time or if people just don't want to hear about Bitcoin or what I don't know I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about and that's what I'm going to do whether anybody likes it or not that's what I do you guys are along for the ride Those of you that are watching, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. It really means a lot, guys. Uh, I could use some more support to get me out of this shitty job. Eventually, I can do YouTube full time and, you know, maybe uh, talk about cryptocurrency and make a good living off of that, too. I don't know. I'm learning a lot about it. Someday I'll be an expert on it and understand it fully. It's just uh, very complex. I think that's why most people that aren't really, they're not really into technology at all, are really like scared of it, think it's, you know, gonna lose a lot of money or something, it's not worth investing. They're uh, old school and hung up on just like, US dollar and you know maybe like stocks or bonds or CDs or something secure like that I don't know man I don't move that slow I'm a fast mover I'm obsessive I'm compulsive I'm always checking like whatever I invest in and I can't just sit and watch a stock that doesn't fucking move <laughs> I'm sorry I need the volatility that uh, cryptocurrency is, and um, it is the next big thing, and it is going to make me a shit ton of money, and those of you that hop on the crypto train too can make a lot of money as well, but uh, yeah, if you guys do want to get some, Sign up under my link at Coinbase. Uh, link is in the description, guys. If you invest $100, you get $10 free, and I get $10 free. It's a freaking good deal. All the cryptos right now are up, like, heavily. They're all going up, like, you know, 12 and 14% and 10% and 8%. It's like every crypto you look at right now is just going up. There's like a few that are like going down. And the few that are going down are just like the ones that like nobody really even knows about. And they're like new or something. Um, or they're just, you know, I don't know. There's competition in the cryptocurrency now. And, um, you know, the little guys aren't going to do as good unless they have a really genius good idea. Some of them do. Some of the little guys do. Um, I'm looking at some of those smaller cryptos that are, you know, once worth like 14 cents a share. 14 cents only. Uh, Stellar, Stellar, Stellar Lumens. XLM. I'm looking at that. Uh, I might invest some. I mean, shit, it's 14 cents a share. Um, maybe I'll get like freaking thousand shares of it or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. We'll see. I've been watching it go up. It's been increasing, so... I don't know. <sighs> anyway, uh, so yeah, last night was kind of a bummer. We didn't have much viewers, but whatever. 
we watched uh, we watched uh, Bitcoin uh, for a long time. We were watching the chart, and we wanted it to go to 8,800, and the whole freaking stream it wouldn't go to 8,800. It was keeping like really close. And, and before I ended the stream, that's all I wanted was it to go to 8,800. And freaking um, finally at the end of the stream, it hit 8,800. And I was like, all right, guys, I go to bed now. I'm happy, you know. And then, uh, so I ended the stream, and then I woke up this morning, and uh, crypto was, uh, well, Bitcoin, Bitcoin was down. Uh, it dropped down to uh, like 86 something and I was like oh that's ugly really it's just a little dip though guys I, I looked at it now and it's like almost up to uh, I think it's almost up to 80 or 100 again and they're talking about it getting ready to do its bull run and explode and you know I don't know um, they're talking about like if it goes that it'll go, it, it'll for sure go like this week, like to like ten thousand or eleven five, and then they said if it surpasses that, then it, it can you know go further. There's nothing stopping it. Like it could go to fifteen thousand or it could go to twenty thousand, and that could happen like literally this week or this month. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I'm on this roller coaster ride, guys. And I'm gonna make some money while I'm on it. <sighs> Hopefully, you guys got yourself some too. Because, man, I believe in this stuff. We're gonna make some money. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Be sure to smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. I keep God first. I see evil, I evil, and I converse. Today, say this how God works. Take my position, what is given.